Hi everyone, Ilya here. I'm experimenting here. I want to upgrade this pedal from electronic hi-hat. Uh, this pedal sadly sends only three positions. It's down, up and something in the middle. But addictive drums can work with continuous MIDI hi-hat pedals. So it, it can open and close hi-hat, more or less. So I want to upgrade this pedal so that it sends uh, MIDI CC messages through MIDI. I investigated through and found out that Arduino can help me and so not to mess with uh, computer software that converts MIDI data from COM port into MIDI. I bought a MIDI USB cable uh, that can transfer MIDI data through USB and so I unsoldered every uh, wire from it and connected right into it and I found out that to send MIDI you need just one wire and the uh, voltage is supplied with two wires more. So I wrote a little sketch that reads the value of the potentiometer. So we uh, rotate the potentiometer and Arduino sends MIDI CC messages on some channel and some CC number. So it generally works. I will not install the potentiometer into this pedal. I will install the photoresistor. It changes its resistance depending on the luminosity and the amount of light. You can put the light diode in front of it and put a transparent plate, a plastic plate between them and paint it over with some pattern with black markers. So when you push the pedal, more or less light is received by the photoresistor and so Arduino works and sends MIDI data to your computer. So let's try to find out whether it works or not. For those who are interested how the original hi-hat pedal is done, here you can see only four buttons that are pressed depending on how fully hi-hat pedal is pushed so friends, here's the continuation of our story. It took a long time to install all these elements inside the pedal, the photoresistor and light emitting diode. So you see I'm putting them into these tubes and one tube has the photoresistor and the other tube has a light emitting diode they will be in front of each other and so a plate will be between them. I decided to glue everything with thermal glue so we'll find out whether it is a good idea. The first experiment light diet and photoresistor are installed in front of each other. You see I'm giving the light and Looking at the resistance of the photoresistor, when light is off, its resistance is about 92-93 kilo ohms. When the light is on, you see its resistance is about 290 ohms. 290 ohms up to 90 kilo ohms. Well, that's good enough. On the pedal itself, I glued such a piece of plate and I'm experimenting with the area that I paint over with a marker. You see it doesn't let the light come through to the photoresistor. So this way of painting over is not very good because the resistance doesn't change linearly. I'm trying to find out the best pattern, the best image. So this way is a little better, uh, seems like it works really fine. You see this is a pedal up, about 280 to 90 ohms. I'm trying to push the pedal down, 
so it's more 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 and up to 50 kilo ohms if you press harder it's even more 70 and 30 and even more so it's fine enough i guess it's really good still in progress but already working pedal connected to arduino arduino to midi cable and so we can see the pedal is up fully up yeah, i press it down and it sends cc messages if you take a look at addictive drums i push the pedal i release it so it's down up and any any position in between for those who enjoy seeing the schematics i'm sure everyone who understands a little in electronics understands everything without any explanation but for those who just like me just starts their experiments uh, i try to explain this photoresistor is a part of voltage divider you have two resistors and in the middle point you get the voltage uh, that is divided by them if you have two resistors of the same resistance and you have the supply voltage of 5 volts and you take two resistors of for example 10 kilo ohms you get in, the, in this middle point you get two and a half volts uh, if one of these resistors is of different resistance uh, one or another you get different voltage in this point depending on the on their resistance so changing this uh, resistance of the photoresistor we change the voltage in this point that the arduino uh, measures so this photoresistor is lighted by the light diode this resistor is just pre preventing the light diode from burning so we can run it and see if you change this resistance like like on photoresistor we change this resistance and we see that voltage goes up and we make the resistance big so the current is small and the voltage in this point is a little when the resistance is low the current is high and the voltage in this point is big enough so this is like a simple voltage divider with two resistors here my friends you see i installed everything into the real pedal so everything fits in in the empty area we'll test and take a look how it works in the real world so the pedal works we can see it i push it up down everything is fine it reacts we open the pedal head is open push it down head closes and Close, half the closed, fully closed, open, fully open, and so on. No, That's fine. The next day. Here you can see that I'm trying to make a better, a better looking gap for, for light. So after experimenting, I found out that in the white area, the resistance doesn't change too much uh, and maximum value that Arduino shows is from 0 to 770 and 600 is somewhere in the middle in the middle of this gap so 700 600 and 100 or maybe 0 so this really narrow part has the most useful values and this white part only 100 values so uh, we are going to make the narrow part long enough that i'm trying to do so after experimenting i stopped with such a gap not really a big gap and it seems to work quite fine 
I said that it should be bigger, but really this one works well. In the software part, I really want the pedal to react truthfully when I push it, and I want it to be quick. I really want it to work quickly. So I decided to do the following thing. I have six levels of heads, as you can see, two closed and four opened heads. So after playing on real drums, I have some feelings how it should how it should be pressed to uh, be closed or open so I push it and write down the numbers this is closed A this is closed B from say 40 to 40 to 300 this is closed B then then it will be opened up to 7 170 okay from 760 it will be fully opened and between 300 and 760 I have three other opened heads open A B and C so I'll just divide it into three and they will send CC only if I had really changes its value. I will not send intermediate values because then there are too many CC messages the next day. Okay, friends, if you work hard, you'll get something done. After really a lot of hours of rewriting the software and everything, the pedal works and I mostly like how it works. I'll show you in a minute what I've done. This is a cable. It is connected to USB uh, through MIDI to USB cable. There is a USB connected to upgrade the firmware of the pedal that I was doing the whole day yesterday, trying to make the pedal more quick and less uh, slow. This is a standard jack that connects to the drum set. This is a button that can turn on and off the pedal when you need it you see the light is on and off also it turns off and on automatically when you turn the drum set on so not to deal with the pedal itself i turn the turn off the drum set turn on and the pedal also follows turns on and off arduino measures the voltage on this jack from the drum set and so decides to turn off or turn turn on or turn off. This is the light emitting diode that you see is also connected to Arduino so Arduino can't control it. So everything is done through the software part. For quite a long time I was thinking about the speed of the pedal. It was just a little too slow when it was up or down. So I was trying to write some software tricks to measure the speed of the pedal and to send uh, MIDI messages before then, then the pedal position is really up. I was trying to send a MIDI message that it's already up. And finally I found out that it doesn't work well. I deleted everything that was not required in the software part and found out in the morning that it works quite fine so i'm quite happy you'll see it yourself and i think it's really useful to write more realistic heads let's take a look
after a few days I decided to add some illumination to this pedal to see the levels that it sends to addictive drums. So I will solder another few wires and try to make what's on my mind. So this is a breadboard model. The diodes are lighting up depending on the position of the pedal. Red and blue are too, too bright for me. So, and the resistor is one kilo ohms, not too much light they emit. So, right now it's this way, you see, it works. Here's the final result. Here are the light emitting diodes that show the head position, six positions, closed, uh, closed B, open A, open B, open C, open D. Let's try to play and see how it works. Well, it's quite usable, and there is a visual indication. I think time will show if it is convenient. I hope it was interesting, have a great day, till next time!